If the kids are home and can't go outside, make today a puppet play day. Making a simple sock puppet is not hard. With some old socks or mismatched socks and some basic craft supplies you have around the house, kids can create simple no-sew sock puppets. Let me show you how. You will need a sock, yarn, googly eyes or buttons, craft or felt glue, a pom-pom, felt, marker, and scissors. To make the simple sock puppet, a crew sock or knee-high sock works well. The sock can be any color, fuzzy or plain, with a print or without. Put your hand into the sock, either you or your child. You want the thumb where the heel would be and the fingers where the toe would be, like this. Now, if it's a child, it would be good to mark where you would like to position the eye. So I'm going to do it on this sock. Or you don't have to, you could just guess at it, but this would make it a little better and I'd know exactly where I want to put my eyes. We are not going to glue the eyes on first. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the mouth for the puppet, sock puppet. And what you want to do is fold the sock so that the heel of the sock is facing up, as you see here. Then cut out an oval from felt that you can glue right onto the heel. To glue it in place, just take your glue, put it on the edge, then maybe a few in the middle, just put some glue in the middle, place it on the heel, and press it down. Okay, now we're going to turn the sock over and we're going to attach the eyes. Um, I'm using googly eyes, but you can also use buttons if you don't have googly eyes. Just place a dab of glue where you want the eyes positioned. And put the eyes on. And with a pom-pom, I'm going to attach a nose. Attaching it right on the tip, like that. Now, as I said, I used a pom-pom. If you don't have a pom-pom, you could just cut out a piece of felt. Now for my sock puppet, I want to add some hair. So I have some yarn, and I'm going to just cut some lengths of yarn. I'm going to then add some glue. And put the yarn in it. I think I'll cut some more and add some more, and then I'll be back and show you what's next. Before playing with the puppet, allow the glue to dry. This is a basic sock puppet, but you can make an endless array of puppets by adding different features and different supplies. Here are two other puppets that I made. This one, I just used some material and some buttons, and I put on a mat mouth, and this one is a little dog. I put on some ears and uh, buttons and I'll show you what this one looks like. There you go.
This is the sock puppet. While you're waiting for the puppet to dry, you and your child can create a puppet theater with a cardboard box or simply drape a tablecloth across a table and the child can crouch down behind it to have their puppet play. I noticed when I was attaching the mouth, I kept saying heel. I should have been saying the sole of the sock. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. To follow us, click the link in the video or in the description section. Do you want more kids craft ideas? Our website, needlepointers.com, has a kids corner section with lots of free craft projects and tutorials. <laughs>